Welcome to VCT Ascension Jakarta. It is day one and I hope you guys are excited, as excited as we are to get things started because it is now tier two's time to shine. Something that I was seeing in some of the interviews with Revenant as well. We're back on Tabine and this is one of Centrisa Gaming's strongest maps. We have seen them play this against, you know, when the spike goes down, we are already on the trying to set up for it. But here comes a suppressive fire. A shot through the smoke. Ivy goes down. It's right. It's all about the market, and I don't see how this round is gonna go any other way. Salton, the rookie, with ace in round three. And they are looking to get the spike down. Rotations are going through. And Danby has to think twice about how he wants to slide into this. Actually gets the headshot off the Salton. Oh, good huh? part. To approach from elbow, slowly creeping up. The person might not know what's behind him, and it does work out for now. Goes on back. I was waiting for him to catch up that mark. At least one. Persia in for two, immediately taken down as she tries to clear out Garden. One on three, and this is gonna be some free saving. And yet, Paradox, with the stuff, we're gonna take down Ivy around the corner. And he has to be very careful. In that Viper Spit tank. Advantage do they expect? Debbie around the corner again, though. Look at this. One shot off. Given the fact that SPG now has play oh, numbers advanced in the early parts of the second half. Yeah, looking for the timing here. Burge has found one. Meanwhile, that's a nice little one tap. Now dashed away. Great little V-Crash from Paradox, but undeterred by Davy in his role to hold down this line of sight. Francis here in to support oh. with him, right clicks through, the shorties down onto Dust. I think he anticipates this, doesn't have the time as well, so that's going to be a simple shot for Francis. This matchup, it's going to be an interesting one to say the least. Of course, we've got the returning players uh, from Tier 1 back into this, and they are looking and they are hungry to get back up able to dodge the utility for the time being. John Olsen though, back in for it, able to hold down the line. How useful that's gonna be. Full sense, oh. so pretty much around. He has the overdrive. Operator might not be too useful, but alongside the Hunter's Fury, he's coming in, guts blaze. Nice little hit, Charles. Or him from the corner, but this does not make John Olsen shake at all. Long enough for that to happen. Thresh will be deployed by that paranoia. Fox, Oblivion Force are aware that they have to watch their bet much as as possible. Check, extend, paranoia all the way back. Luka still able to... And Rhea is looking to make a big splash! <laughs> Surrounding him from the back. Port, but everyone has been surrounded. The Hunter's Fury will... I mean, he feels comfortable. His team has gathered that in. Leviathan trying to mark the angles, providing his teammates with cover up with his smokes. He's always capable of sliding away as well. Really, uh, he wants to repeat. Dare you to peek me through your side of the Swaps him out. Kind of deter John Olsen away, but here comes that kill contract. Sushi Boy stuck inside. Double tap expires and allows for Sushi Boy. He's going to try to stay alive as well. Leering them into that bulldog of Sushi Boys. Bearing his fangs. That's the third kill. Placed up just to deny Oblivion Force any space into the site even. Fox down, marking the offside. Takes down Uda despite the double tap. Check, fire off shots from spawn, but it's not quite gonna happen. Looking at our map, Vito going into Sunset first, and then Lotus, and then potentially we have Ascent. We've been hyping up this matchup. We're all really excited to see these teams go toe to toe against each other. And I think these, these are some good maps to see. In and they are stuck, pinned down perhaps. Going off with the shots though, they've all lined up for Zerx. Anybody tries to pull a sneaky play. A sneaky play comes in from behind Ooh. the one is that play? Trying to switch things up because their backs are against the ropes. Bit of a half line, they're just trying to rush in. Oh, and it's just it's... all lined. Nancy Slasher needs just one kill for that potential. Oh, ultimate. There it is, gets it, and now he wants to back out. Not enough rounds in the Spectre magazine. Potentially. I mean, it's just a map they were. He just needs to block One it out of the dark cover. Pikachu tries to play around the smokes, but unfortunately we will not be having any smoke back in the And alongside Nexi, Edmund just continues to swing though and stop down the zero now. Goes in for the jump peek. Poppy just tries to 
got NC Slasher rotating in just to help his teammates over on the other side. A monocle, the off angle, he fires through, and in with the kill, pops out the showstopper, tries to get the splash, but it doesn't quite connect. Research to the other side. Papichula just waiting for a bit of assistance. Managing to spray it down, a double kill. Deploy that lockdown, boom. Flying pressure to them, coming in from the back of a site. And C Slasher, he does it again. Flank. Oh, and then the Viper's pit. Can you believe this, Bilski? Berserk sprays on through. And Edmund just throws in a last.